Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra math problem? That is, k times k times k is equal to k plus k plus k. So here we will try to find the value of k in this beautiful math problem where here k is multiplied three times. So in the right hand side k is added three times. So what we will do here? Here looking to the left hand side here, all of these bases or of these variable are same, having one power. So here we will use the same base exponential identity. When the base is same, so we will write the base one time and we will add their powers. So therefore we can write this as k raised to power. We will add the power, so we will add one three times. And here this number has the coefficient one. So this is added, so this will become this is three times, this will become three k. Now next we can write this as k raised to power, adding one three times, this will become 3 and this will become is equal to 3k here next we will move this 3k to the left hand side so it will become negative 3k and this equation will become k cube minus 3k is equal to 0 now here in these two terms the k is common so we will take out k common from the left hand side so this will become taking k common so here in this term k square is left minus in this term only 3 is left is equal to 0. We have the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this variable this k will be 0 or this quadratic equation will be 0. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is the value k is equal to 0 which is obvious solution. So let us suppose this is k1 and the second equation is k square minus 3 is equal to 0. Now this is our first solution k1 is equal to 0. Now we will solve this quadratic equation furthermore two solutions. So next we can write this 3 as k square minus 3 can be written as root of 3 whole square is equal to 0. This is because from here this square and square root can cancel each other and this gives him 3 back. Now here in the left hand side we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square identity. So here we will use this one identity in the left hand side. We know that a square minus b square which can also be written as a minus b times a plus b. So using this identity this algebraic identity we can write this as here a is k and b is root of 3 so this will become k minus root of 3 times k plus root of 3 is equal to 0 here the product of these two linear equation is 0 so here either this linear expression will be 0 or this linear expression will be 0 so again from here we will get two equations. The first one is k minus square root of 3 is 0. And the second one is k plus square root of 3 is 0. The first one we will solve this one equation. So here we will move this square root of 3 to the right hand side. So it will become positive square root of 3. So k is equal to positive square root of 3 is our second solution. Now we will solve this linear equation here. Again we will move this positive root of 3 to the right hand side. So it will become negative root of 3. So this will become k is equal to negative square root of 3. So this is our third solution. So finally we have three possible solutions in this problem. One is k is equal to 0. Second is k is equal to square root of 3. And third is negative square root of 3. And here we will try to verify these solutions as these solutions are correct or not. So we will verify it here. Let's verify. So here we will first verify k is equal to 0. So let us verify this solution k1 is equal to 0. To verify this solution we will write the problem here. Now the problem is k times k times k is equal to k plus k plus k then let's replace k with 0 so this become 0 times 0 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 
0 plus 0. And we know that multiplying 0 any number of times is always 0. And we also know that adding 0 any number of times is also 0. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that k1 is equal to 0 is obvious and correct solution. Now here we will try to verify k2 is equal to positive root of 3 and k3 is equal to negative root of 3. So we will verify these solutions here. Now here first we will verify k is equal to positive square root of 3. So let's verify this video. k2 is equal to positive square root of 3. Now again to verify this solution we will write the problem here. Now the problem is k times k times k is equal to k plus k plus k. Then let's replace k with its value. So it will become root of 3 times root of 3 times square root of 3 is equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3. Here we can write these two numbers as there is same number multiplied two times, so we can write this in square form as square root of 3 whole square times square root of 3 is equal to. Now, here in the right hand side, we will take square root of 3 common from all the terms. So, as we know that we can write 1 in front of with any number. So, taking square root of 3 common from all the numbers in the right hand side, here only 1, 1, 1 will be left. So let us take square root of 3 common from the right hand side. So here 1 will be left, here also 1 will be left, and here also 1 will be left. And here on the left hand side, this square and this square will be cancelled. So only 3 will be left here times square root of 3 is equal to, and this is square root of 3 times, adding 1, 3 times, this is 3. Now next, this number will be the same, 3 times square root of 3. 3 and here we let us rearrange these two terms move this coefficient to the front so this will become 3 times square root of 3 now since both sides are equal so it means that k is equal to positive square root of 3 is also the correct solution correct value of k now here we will try to verify the third solution that is k is equal to minus square root of 3 so let's verify k3 is equal to minus square root of 3. Now to verify this solution, again we will write the problem here. That is k times k times k is equal to k plus k plus k. Now let's split k with its value that is negative square root of 3. So this will become negative square root of 3 times minus negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is equal to here we will add negative square root of 3 3 times so this will become negative square root of 3 plus negative square root of 3 plus negative square root of 3 now here we can write these two numbers as in square form so this will become negative square root of 3 whole square times negative square root of 3 is equal to and here from the right hand side we will take negative square root of 3 common from all the terms so let us take out negative square root of 3 common from all the terms so here only 1 1 will be left in all the terms so this will become 1 plus 1 plus 1 now here next we can write this number as as a product of minus 1 times square root of 3 whole square times negative square root of 3 is equal to here this will be the same negative square root of 3 and adding 1 3 times is simply 3 now further here we can write this square over minus 1 and root of 3 so minus 1 square is simply 1 because multiplying negative 1 any number of time which is even power so that is always equal to 1 so that is why multiply negative 1 even number of times means 2 times this is positive 1 times and here when we take this square over square root of 3 so square and square will be cancelled with each other so only 3 will be left here times negative square root of 3 is equal to here we move this number to the front so this will become 
negative three times square root of three. Now three times one is three, and multiplying three with negative square root of three, we can write this as negative times three times square root of three is equal to negative three times square root of three. Now since again both sides are equal, so it means that k is equal to negative square root of three is also the exact and correct value of k in this problem.